So this week has been one of the most interesting in the history of Mac gaming. And one of the most exciting announcements to come out of WWDC is the fact that we're getting a new graphics rendering API, Metal 3. And this update contains some exciting new features, including fast resource loading, Metal FX upscaling, and optimized ray tracing. And features like mesh shaders could finally be the key that unlocks compatibility with DirectX 12 and Vulkan games running on Apple Silicon hardware for the very first time. And Metal 3's new features are also integral to the release of three newly announced AAA titles, Resident Evil Village, No Man's Sky, and Grid Legends, all coming to Apple Silicon Mac hardware. However, what wasn't clear is whether these games are only going to be able to run on the M2 chip or whether older M1 chip hardware is compatible too, or even Intel chips as well. So today we're going to show you which Macs are going to work with games that run on Metal 3. And we're also going to have a look at whether these games are going to be exclusive to the App Store or whether they're going to be released on other platforms too. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing we're going to look at is this table for Metal 3 hardware support. And what's interesting is that there are quite a lot of older devices on this list, including iPhones and iPads with the A13 Bionic chip, and also older Intel Macs too that use AMD or Intel GPUs. And this list seems very familiar because it is also the same as the list of Macs that can run the new operating system macOS Ventura. And once we put these lists side by side, it becomes pretty clear that Metal 3 is going to require macOS Ventura because they have identical hardware requirements. And macOS Ventura can can be installed on older Macs as old as 2017, even on Intel chips running integrated graphics. And technically these meet the minimum hardware requirements for Metal 3. And this might be quite surprising to some people. That's because Apple presented Metal 3 and the M2 chip as next generational upgrades. However, if we look a little bit closer and compare the performance of the M1 and the M2 chip, as well as stack it up against the M1 Pro, M1 Max, and M1 Ultra, we can see that the M2 chip is an incremental upgrade rather than a generational upgrade. Apple claimed that the M2 chip is 39% faster than the M1 chip in gaming performance. However, if we look at the M1 Pro, we can see that this performs more than twice as fast as the M1 anyway. And so if you wanted faster gaming performance, you could simply go and buy an M1 Pro, which was released in 2021. So therefore, it shouldn't be a surprise to know that older M1 Apple Silicon Macs are going to be able to run newer games like Resident Evil Village. And Capcom even confirmed this in the presentation stating that everything from the MacBook Air to the Mac Studio is going to be able to run this game. And not only that, the MacBook Air is going to run this effortlessly at 1080p and it's going to run at 4K on the Mac Studio. Now they don't specify exactly which MacBook Air, the M1 or the M2, but they say at the end here that they're going to be bringing this game to every Mac with Apple Silicon. So the next question is, are they going to release Resident Evil Village and games like it as native ARM binaries, or are they also going to include Intel versions that run through Rosetta 2? So you might think that anything that Apple demonstrate on their stage would be native only, but last time they showed us Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and this is an Intel binary running through Rosetta 2 on the M1 Mac. It has never been updated to native ARM. So I definitely said that they could release a Rosetta 2 version of this game. However, as time goes on and as more native ARM Macs become available, the chances of this becomes smaller and smaller. And if we look at the announcement for No Man's Sky, which is going to release later this year on the Mac, this is also getting an iPad release. And so in this case, it would really make sense for the developers to make a single ARM version of the game that works on iPad and Apple Silicon Macs. And if we look at the next game that's been announced, Grid Legends, this has been ported to the Mac by Feral Interactive. And they state that this is going to be a native Apple Silicon game that takes advantage of the M1 chipset. And what's interesting is that it's also going to be exclusive to the Mac App Store. And this is interesting because on the Steam DB entry for Grid Legends, it states that there is a Mac version on Steam. And if we drill down for more information, it even says that it's a macOS Apple Silicon version too. So whilst this game is probably going to be exclusive to the Mac App Store for some time, I wouldn't be surprised if it pops up on Steam in the near future. Similarly, Resident Evil Village and No Man's Sky both have Steam entries, and I wouldn't be surprised if after some exclusivity period, they both appear on Steam in the future as well. So it's great to know that these new Metal 3 games are going to benefit the new M2 chip, as well as the first generation of M1 Apple Silicon Macs, and also potentially older Intel Macs too, if they have Intel Rosetta 2 builds released. However, Metal 3 is not an automatic performance upgrade, games have to be updated to Metal 3 in order to take advantage of any of these new features. And it's very likely that most older games are not going to get these updates, so we're going to rely on compatibility layers like Crossover in order to run the Windows versions of these games on Apple Silicon hardware. 
and some of the main compatibility issues with DirectX 12 and Vulkan are being worked on right now. For example, we're already getting information about how Molten VK, the translation there between Metal and Vulkan, is going to be substantially improved with Metal 3. And if Molten VK can finally allow Vulkan to have feature parity with Metal, then it means that game emulators that rely on Vulkan are going to be much easier to port to Apple Silicon hardware. And so all of these changes with Metal 3 are going to benefit every Mac that can run macOS Ventura, whether it's the new M2 chip, the first generation M1, or older Intel Max 2. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.